A religious awakening is underway at the White House. Some of the most powerful people in America are gathering weekly to learn more about God's Word. White House correspondent Jennifer Wishon has this exclusive look at the Trump Cabinet Bible study that's making history. It's been called the most evangelical cabinet in history. Men and women who don't mince words when it comes to where they stand on God and the Bible. These are godly individuals that uh, God has risen to a position of prominence in our culture. All handpicked by President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. I don't think Donald Trump's figured out that he chained himself to the Apostle Paul. Ralph Drollinger is a former NBA playing giant of a man with an even bigger calling. He founded Capital Ministries with the idea that if you change the hearts of lawmakers, then their Christian worldview will guide them to make good policies. He started Bible studies in 40 state capitals, teaches weekly studies in the U.S. House and Senate, and now leads about a dozen members of President Trump's cabinet in weekly studies of the Bible. Health Secretary Tom Price, Energy Secretary Rick Perry, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, and CIA Director Mike Pompeo are just a few of the regulars. It's the best Bible study I've ever taught in my life. They are so teachable, they're so noble, they're so learned. Has this been done before in a, in a cabinet I, I don't formally? think there's been a cabinet Bible study in America in at least 100 years. America's top cop, yeah. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, yeah. also attends. Like Jeff Sessions, he'll go out the same day I teach him something, I'll see him do it on camera. And I just think, man, these guys are faithful, available, and teachable, and they're at Bible study every week they're in town. President Trump is invited to attend the Bible studies, too. Each week, he receives a copy of Drollinger's teachings, and when he can, Vice President Mike Pence will join the study. In Pence, Drollinger sees similarities to Joseph, Mordecai, and Daniel from the Bible, all men who rose to the number two position in governments at different times in history. Mike Pence has respect for the office. He dresses right, like it says Joseph, you know, cleaned himself up before he went to stand before the Pharaoh. He had, Mike Pence has uh, uncompromising biblical tenacity, and he had a loving tone about him that's not just a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And then fourthly, he brings real value to the head of the nation. Like others, Drollinger often compares President Trump to biblical strongman Samson. I just praise God for them, and I praise God for Mike Pence, who I think, with Donald Trump, chose great people to lead our nation. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, the White House. Pat, this is so encouraging, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. We have never had a, a, an administration like this in my memory. There's nothing that I've ever seen that's even close to this. And the initiatives that Trump is bringing about are startling. But boy, the, the attack against him is, is, yeah. is spiritual. That's why people need to pray for him. I, I don't care you know, about your politics, but I tell you, in terms of what can happen good for the nation, he's, he's at the center of it and doing a fantastic job. Terry? It is very encouraging.